Hello and welcome back to yet another episode here on the Brazilian Expat. Now I hope you're all doing fantastic. Before we start this episode, I'd like to quickly introduce myself. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Andreas. I'm Norwegian born and I left my home country in 2006 to pursue a lifelong dream of creating a new life for myself here in Brazil. And currently I do live in the northeastern part of Brazil where I'm also running a successful business, a bed and breakfast for just over 10 years now. The biggest draw for me moving to this part of the country was the climate. This part of Brazil sees sunshine every single day for around nine months a year. And then we do have a rainy season lasting from February to May, but every year is a little bit different. Sometimes the rain arrives late, sometimes earlier, but one thing is for certain, it will rain. Sometimes it rains hard every single day for a few hours followed by sunshine and other times we can have just drizzle for weeks on end. So every single year is a little bit different, but for me running a business, the rains bring along with it a lot of challenges. Now, I've already covered this in an episode last year where I go into detail about the challenges that all of this rain and water bring with it and how it does affect my business. But currently we are well into the very beginning of the rainy season and we've already experienced several days of monsoon rains and this has already put me into damage control mode here at my bed and breakfast. And besides damage control and repairs, I've also got a handful of projects going on. And in my latest upload, I talked quite a bit about what's currently going on in my life here and why I'm so busy these days. So in this episode, I would like to invite you to join me on my day-to-day -day life here at the business and give you an insight as what it, what goes into running a bed and breakfast here in Brazil. And also, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm also well into constructing my own home here. It's an apartment that I'm actually constructing right now for myself and it's going to be on top of the existing business. So I'll take you along on that as well and to see what's going on there. So this will be a quite lengthy video. So I'm going to split it into two parts and today's episode will be part one. So let's just get started. So one of the very first issues I have during the rainy season is controlling where all of the water will end up. Now currently all of my gutters drain the water directly on the ground in the backyard and it's not ideal since it washes away the ground soil and carries it into the garden where it just makes a huge mess. So my only solution to this is to connect the gutter pipes directly into the sewer lines. Now my only fear is that when it rains really hard that the sewer lines will not be able to handle the volumes of water and start overflowing. However, after evaluating the size of the sewer pipes and a quick calculation in my head, I reached a conclusion that the sewers should be able to handle the volumes of water for shorter periods. The first thing that we did was to make a new sewer access and inspection box and connect the first gutter pipe directly to the box. Now all we have to do is connect the final pipe from the gutters of my new apartment and we should be good to go. Now, apart from all of the water issues, I've started another project in my new apartment. Now, we are currently standing out on my veranda and this space is more or less 90% complete. Now, the only thing that I'm missing here is a table by the sitting area and I already have an idea on how it's gonna look.
Okay, so that's the frame of the table done. And in case you're wondering, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> yeah, this table here is gonna wrap around this this column here, this, this pole. So uh, that's intentional. So this is the frame. Now I'm gonna make the supports just to figure out, I just gotta figure out the height of the table. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm gonna do a little experimenting and I'll figure it out as I go along. But uh, anyways, you guys can get a rough idea now of the size of the table. So guys, I don't know if you remember some episodes ago last year. I, uh, you can see along the wall, I got all this eucalyptus wood that I put up. Now, from that project there, all of these are just leftovers from uh, that I cut to size. And I don't want to throw this away. I want to really try and use everything. So the idea now is to have this eucalyptus here just wrap around this table here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand everything down. And um, when this is raised, I'm going to wrap all of this eucalyptus wood around it. So um what i figured is to make this work that i can these are obviously going to be too tall so what i figured is that i'm going to cut these straight down the middle and uh, that'll just double the amount of eucalyptus wood that i have available so i don't know it's probably not going to be enough to wrap around the entire table but if it's not enough i'm just going to purchase more but anyways um you gotta use what you have yeah it's uh, i don't want any of this to go to waste and it's quite expensive as well it's not really cheap this eucalyptus wood but i think it'll look really nice around this table right here so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna cut these in two and they are gonna be roughly 35 centimeters and that's gonna be roughly the size of the um the sofa here where you're sitting so it's roughly going to be the same size as where you're sitting and I think it's going to be a perfect height for the table. Uh, I just got to experiment a little bit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut these supports to the height, 35 centimeters. I'm going to sit down and see if it feels right. If it still feels a bit low, then obviously I just got to get purchase more eucalyptus, but I'm going to try and make this work. So that's the frame done. I'm still gonna reinforce it here. Maybe a little bit low, but I think it'll be fine. At least I'll be able to to use all of this uh, eucalyptus hair. So that's the frame all done, all reinforced. So at least now I know if the girls go crazy and start dancing on the table. At least I know it'll <laughs> it'll hold, but uh, now that looks pretty good. So now comes the really really shitty part where I gotta sand all of this eucalyptus. That's just a shit job. But I'm not in a hurry, so I'm just gonna go easy and I'll do a few today, and then I'll probably con continue on tomorrow. So in case you're wondering why my t-shirt is different in almost every clip, that is because during the rains, the humidity is extreme and I find it necessary to change my shirt every couple of hours. I probably take about five showers a day during this time also. I can't really explain it, but I'm sweating a lot and it becomes very uncomfortable after a while. These Ryobi tools, I didn't buy them here in Brazil. I haven't found them here in Brazil actually, but I brought all, all of these on my trip to Norway. They're fantastic, these tools. They're, they're absolutely amazing. Not having to have to plug it, plug them in. The only downside is, is that this battery was fully re recharged and I managed to send one, two, three, four, five, six pieces and 
that's the battery all done so i gotta recharge it again so that's the only downside about it well i just realized i got some visitors <laughs> it's a couple of bats actually right up here Okay, so whilst we're recharging the batteries, I just figured I'd put up these pieces that are already sanded down of eucalyptus and put a few of these uh, wood panels on. So you get an idea of how it's going to look and it looks pretty cool actually. Of course it's all going to be painted, uh, same color, some uh, dark varnish on it and I think it's gonna look awesome so but right now I'm tired and I'm actually gonna hit the gym and then I'm gonna call it a day so well it's still not raining so I figured I run down to the gym and I'll crack on tomorrow again Another issue that I've had for quite a long time has been with birds, more precisely the common house sparrow, which is abundant here in Brazil and unfortunately they can make quite a huge mess. Every day we have to scrub and clean the verandas of every single room as they do their business literally everywhere. The solution here is to close and seal off all possible spaces where the birds can build their nests and here is my caretaker doing just that right now. This seems to do the trick. It's only the house bears that causes problems by building their nest underneath the roof. The other birds, they prefer to build their nest in trees and plants and don't leave a mess like these sparrows do. Hey guys, so currently I'm in the reception here at the bed and breakfast and I usually don't spend a lot of time down here. This is most, mostly the girls who will, this is usually their workplace where they receive the guests, do the check-in, check-out, all of that stuff. However, I do need to come down here once in a while and basically it's, um, it's for doing all the finances, paying all of the bills, but also, uh, we do serve breakfast here at the uh, bed and breakfast every single morning. So breakfast is included in the rate when, uh, whenever there's a guest renting a room. And we do have a budget for that. So we set up a budget, uh, how much we want to spend per person per day. And uh, at the end of the month, I go through all of the expenses just to check if we are within the budget. So how it actually works is all of my staff, they have their fixed salary, but I give them quite a decent bonus also on top of the salary every single month. Now that bonus, they will only receive that if they can stay within the budget. So basically after I go through all of the expenses and if we spend more than, than the actual budget, then I will 
basically discount uh, what they will see, receive for the bonus. So if they spend more, they will receive less, but of course they will receive their fixed salary. But that's basically what I'm doing here. And, um, and also for the minibar, uh, we do a full count of everything and just to check that uh, the quantity actually cor corresponds with uh, what we have sold and of course what we have bought so and that will also affect the bonus of the staff um, and it actually works pretty good before uh, I implemented this bonus um, you know the staff they really didn't care they you know obviously whatever they spend they just buy what they need but uh, obviously there's a problem because a lot of food has gone to waste uh, they buy more than than is absolutely necessary and uh, and it's actually quite a big expense um, you might not think about it you might not believe it but uh, breakfast is actually one of our biggest expenses just food because food has become quite expensive here in Brazil uh, after the inflation food prices have gone up significantly so this is an important part of just maintaining the business, just making sure that we do have a budget and we can stay within the budget. So, um, so that is basically what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna finish off here and uh, pay all of the all of the bills, all of the expenses. I'm gonna calculate their bonus, see if we stayed in the budget, and uh, and that should be it. So last week, this plant here decided to die in me. It's quite a shame, it's a beautiful plant. Had it for just over 10 years. And for some reason, I don't know, must have been disease or, I don't know, plants get old age as well. But anyways, I've been on this, trying to get rid of all the roots and whatnot here. And I've been on, on this for over an hour now. The roots go deep and they're just, it's a real struggle to get out. So, as soon as I get all of this out, tomorrow I'm gonna head in, buy a new plant, plant that in place, and then should be good to go. Today, even the sun has come out. It is hot. Oh, it is hot, hot, hot. Oh. Oh, fuck. So eventually I managed to remove all of the roots of the dead plant and we carried on with closing off the gaps underneath the roof to get rid of the sparrows. Also, we installed another gutter along the wall in the garden to carry away the rainwater from the sun deck above. This also meant that we had to make another inspection box for the sewers. Good morning. It's another day. It's another beautiful day. It's not raining. It's a good thing. I'm actually on my way to to my girlfriend, I'm just gonna borrow her pickup because I gotta purchase three new plants for the garden. One is obviously for the for the one that that died that I was working on yesterday. But uh, I got two other plants I want to put on the porch of two of my apartments, and uh, obviously they will not fit in this car. So I gotta b borrow her pickup pickup truck. So I'm gonna go over there pick up the truck and then head over to to a place it's actually one of my favorite places it's almost like uh, for me it's a it's like a toy store for kids this guy has all different types of plants and, and that's where I buy all the plants all the flowers and everything from him so I'm gonna head over there and choose three nice plants for for the garden and for the porch 
so I kind of show you that um, it's actually it's roughly a 20 25 minute drive outside of the city where his place is so um, we'll he head over there eventually and I didn't sleep at all last night I'm so sunburned so stupid it's been raining straight for 10 days you know so I forgot that the Sun actually does quite a bit of harm so I completely forgot to apply sunscreen I'm not doing that mistake again but anyways I'm off to pick up the truck so I'll see you there okay so I got the truck I hope I'll get there because when I picked it up there was a flat had a flat tire and it's it's actually there is a puncture it's leaking but it's leaking a little bit I got a battery driven compressor again Ryobi amazing 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 tools that they make probably when I get there after I purchase my plans I gotta put air in the tires again and hopefully I'll be able to make it back <laughs> there's always something so it should be around it's about a 15 to 20 minute drive to get to the place where we're going just outside the city That didn't go the plan. Jeez. Lucky I didn't go any faster. That could have turned ugly. But this tire hair is trash. I don't know <laughs> why they haven't changed it out. Anyways, got the spare hair, so I'll try that. What a day. My God, <laughs> that could have turned ugly. I was going slow, thank God, on the highway. But anyways, that's changed. It's got air. Whew. Let's continue. Just another normal day. I was, I was hoping I hadn't had to do this in the sun. I'm so sunburned and I'm surely gonna die tonight. But anyways. Let's crack on. So we made it. So it's in here. Should be right around here, 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 here. It's really is easy to miss the uh, the entrance here to this guy. Here we go. So guys, this is where I buy all of my plants. Everything you see in the garden at my bed and breakfast, this is it right here. So let's go and see what he has. So what I want here, I'm looking for some kind of palm, something like this. These are super easy. They don't require a lot of maintenance. But uh, I'm gonna have a look what he has. Maybe I'll find something else, something interesting, something different. Because I got a bunch of these plants here already. It'd be nice to try something different. These imperial palms and these fan palms here. You guys seen these ones? I had. Mine are absolutely humongous. So, just trying to see what he has. Is anything, anything interesting? So 
actually I was looking at these these are actually imperial palms they they grow really big however if you keep them in a vase they will actually stay that size there and they're actually actually really really cool I think they would look awesome at the apartment now this here is a plant that I had that actually died I don't know if I have the courage to plant that again but anyways I might get one of these depending on the price they're quite expensive I'll see how much he wants for it and then I'll probably take one probably one of these I think I want to get two of these also. Then I gotta stop. Uh, so that's my Christmas shopping for this time. Hopefully if this reserve tile will last. Should be all right. Just getting two more sacks of fertilizer here. Should be good to go. it thank god it's all good Let's open up the gate here so there we have it there's one plant I'll, I'm gonna just leave this tie on for a couple of days it's just to help the plant get settled and then I'll, uh, I'll release these ties and everything will open up. It'll look awesome. And also the other one for the other room that I bought, this Imperial Palm, I think it looks awesome. Just the right height. Again, all these ties here secure every, all the leaves together. It's just not to stress the plant too much uh, when there's a lot of wind and whatnot. So first couple of days, just gonna leave that secure. And then I'm gonna open it up so everything will will fall into place and um, but it looks it looks really nice and of course the one that I was struggling with yesterday the dead plant that was here now I've got this this one here and unfortunately it has some really nice white flowers they fell off during the wind when I was in the back of the truck but hopefully this is gonna settle in nicely it's gonna uh, it's gonna sell its roots and we're gonna get some nice flowers eventually on this one here so I kind of it's kind of coming back into it's actually one flower here it looks I think it's kind of stressed already this plant but give it a few days to settle and uh, it should hopefully it should be okay all these plants when you relocate them they get kind of stressed and for the first couple of days uh, they kind of start to wither, don't look too nice, but eventually they will uh, they will catch on, hopefully. Also, these flowers here are bought. I think they're really nice, beautiful flowers. I never had these flowers before. This is the first time, and it's going to be fun to see if they actually uh, will thrive here or not. And lastly, I don't know if you can see it along the wall there, there are some other ones here. These are actually uh, climbing plants and they will grasp onto this wall here and climb. And the idea is to, to make them climb this wall and, and eventually cover everything here. Um, when it works, when they actually settle these plants here, 
when they settle in and and th start to thrive they grow really fast and you constantly have to trim them uh, it's quite a lot of maintenance you need to trim them keep them short but after a while they do look spectacular so now some of you probably remember the barbecue grill area beside the pool now this is a feature that i constructed in the very beginning when constructing my bed and breakfast and thought it was a great idea at the time the idea was to have a space where guests could prepare some food and enjoy some barbecue beside the pool now this had its own flaws however and although certain guests thought it was a great idea others didn't appreciate it at all now the problem with this place was that the guests would use this space as intended however they would leave a mess at the end of the day and nine out of ten times my staff had to clean up after them and also, with a bit too many cold beers, this place would eventually turn into a party well into the night. And while some had a great time, other guests would prefer to relax and get some rest. And in the end, the people using this space would eventually bother the other guests, who in turn would complain about the noise and the mess that was left the following day. So I finally realized that I had to do something about it. And although it was difficult to say goodbye to a place that has given me many good memories and good moments over the years it was really time just to tear everything down and create a different space that everyone will enjoy so the plan is to have a seating area sort of a poolside lounge and divide the space with a wall down the middle on the other side of the wall a chill area with a hammock purely for relaxing So guys, I don't know if you remember, but here we kind of had the, the bar, it depends, like a sink, a small kitchenette area. And of course, you can see the outlines of where the uh, churrasco, you know, the grill used to be by the wall here. So all of this we tore down. And of course, the main idea here is these are all gonna be seating areas, um, just benches, so people can just sit here relax look out over the pool and this wall here this is exactly how I want to do it I want to have a declining wall like this but I'm gonna keep the height uh, by in installing all of this eucalyptus wood again you guys know that I'm absolutely in love with eucalyptus all of this here is all eucalyptus uh, I love this wood and so this wall, like the concrete wall, would be declining, but the height will stay with eucalyptus wood, exactly like it was upstairs. And if we come around on the other side, so I'm gonna leave this floor here. This is Karuri tiles. Uh, it's natural stone, so I wanna keep this floor here. But on this side, I wanna put up a wooden deck. And this wooden deck, I wanna try and actually extended let me see if i can show you guys better so this floor here stops here but i really want to extend the wooden deck so it just comes um just touches these these plants here and I, and the idea is to actually just put up a hammock here uh, secured by the wall have a hammock so you'll have like this sec secluded place in the shade um just with a little bit of privacy and uh, just just to chill out and i think that will be awesome and then of course you'll have your eucalyptus and the wall here and right in here i'm gonna leave this space here is gonna be open i'm gonna put one of these plants here so hopefully they'll grow big it'll fill in this area so you'll have some green on both sides so <laughs> it's kind of a big project i know guys but it's you got it you know you got to spend money, spend time, especially during times like this, the rainy season, when there's not a lot of activity. You just got to jump in and you got to make the investments. You always have to be um, on top of things, you know. You, there's a lot of competition here in this city, and this is the reason I do it. I want to stand out. I want to be innovate, do things differently. 
and um, you just got to be, you know, on the top 10 in the city. If not, you're, you're not going to make it, you know, there's too much competition. So um, spend the money and the money invested, um, usually it pays off pretty quickly because word, word gets around. It's a, people love this, all of this space. I only get praise of this by the guests and I already built a reputation for myself. So, and this is why, because I keep on innovating, keep on changing things, trying to always beat the competition, trying to be one of the best bed and breakfast in the city and the area. So I have no regrets doing this. And I think when everything's done, it's gonna look absolutely awesome. And of course, I'm gonna show you the results uh, when everything is done. So right now what I'm doing, again, I just ran out of batteries. I'm just sanding all this eucalyptus. Everything of this has to be sanded and it's gonna be put, put in place here. So I'm just gonna crack on here. Okay, headed to the uh, to the gym. I was gonna work out. Haven't been working out these last couple of days since I've been too busy. But I gotta stop with these excuses. I gotta go to the gym as well. But um, yes, yeah, Friday, go to the gym, work out for about an hour, and then I'm gonna call it a day. And I'm just gonna enjoy the weekend. I'm not gonna work anymore. So gonna be it after the weekend Monday crack on again with with everything so that's the plan I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this lane Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose Okay guys, good morning, another day Still cracking on at this table here And it's coming along Now I gotta stop right here and the reason for that is I bought this cooler Now the idea is to actually make a lid that I can open up and this will open up with it inside this cooler here I can put ice and have cold beverages beer sodas wine whatever so I don't have to go all the way <laughs> into the kitchen I know it sounds really lazy but but it's nice you know especially if you are a group of people some friends uh, it's cool just to fill up all this with ice and just have some cold beverages and the cool thing is at the bottom I can just make like a drain 
So I can just pull up the drain and the water will just run out and inside the drain right there. So I think it'll be super convenient. Now I tried to find the right size cooler. This size is actually ideal. It's um, 50 liters. It's perfect if you have a large group, whatever. The problem is, so you can see the table, this cooler here, it's just a little bit too high. If I go down a size, it's going to be like half the capacity, 25, 30 liters. And I, I really want to maximize the capacity here. So what I've started doing is just trimming off these edges here. <laughs> kind of trying to trim it down so the lid will come below so I can actually close down the lid and... Um, Nothing it's supposed to be easy, I guess, but I think this will work anyways. If it doesn't work, I'll figure something else out. If I don't, I'll just buy a smaller, a smaller cooler. And these are cheap. These are roughly like 30 bucks or something like that. So it's not a total waste. If, if, if I destroy this, then I'll just buy another one. It's part of the game. But anyways, we'll see. <laughs> if I can figure it out. So I'm gonna crack on here and just trim off the edges and hopefully I won't break anything. Yeah. Oh, what a mess, a styrofoam. Uh. Well, safe to say, what a mess. But anyways, it looks like it did the trick. It's actually now really snugly fits underneath here. And I've actually just, I think I changed my mind about how I want this to open. Like previously, I wanted this in the middle, but actually if I'm gonna do that, there will be a divide in these wooden panels here and i don't think that's really gonna look great so instead what i want to do is have this like this and this part opening just like this because then i can just install some hinges right in here and these wooden panels will just continue so it'll be almost totally hidden you won't even think that this part will open so I think that's actually a better idea and um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that anyways it fits snugly right now I'm just gonna clean up all of this mess here and then I think I'm gonna make the framework here so I can stall the hinges and I think I want to make this open this way and not this way but I make things you know I just decide things as I go along so I think it's gonna work anyways. That's the most important thing. <laughs> so we'll see. Also, I was looking for my fellow bats today, Tom and Jerry. That's what I named them, Tom and Jerry, because they come back every single day, but today I couldn't find them. You know, they were previously up there and then they moved in here. And they're not here either. And then they actually, a couple of days, they moved up right up here. But then I got, actually found them. I'm gonna try not to bother them too much, but ah, there they are. I think they're super cute. And I'm suspecting they try to find a different place every time just not to get disturbed too much, I'm making a lot of noise here, but uh, I love all living things. It's one of the perks moving to Brazil. It's a lot of creepy crawlies, some of them more pleasant than others, but anyways. Well, I'm gonna go to the hardware store and crack on with this, so I'll catch you later. I got a bunch done. Although, it looks alright, you can't you're wondering the hinges are right here so there's the uh, the cooler underneath so whenever I want to drink 
I'm just gonna raise this up here and I'm gonna make it somehow that the lid of the cooler will open up as well. So you don't have to open that and then open up the lid of the cooler. Gotta try and find some mechanism. Oh, neighbor's dog is kind of annoying, but anyways, gonna call it a day and uh, we'll crack on tomorrow. Good morning. Well, actually, <laughs> it's almost noon. Another day, another wet day here, and I've been cracking on with this table. And um, <laughs> I gotta say, I'm quite surprised at uh, what I've actually achieved here. I never thought it would actually work, but Lord and behold, you open up this here and you got yourself a cooler you can see the supports i put just so the um the cooler doesn't move around every time i open the lid but i mean it <laughs> it really fits snugly so what i figured here and also just to keep the lid in place i put in these supports here so it'll stop the lid going too far back just so i won't destroy the hinges it actually looks pretty good so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to get a make a drain here it's i'm just going to go to the hardware store just buy like a normal drain for the sink where you have a plug so whenever i fill this with ice when everything is melted i just can pull the plug and the water should fall down drain and just go straight into the drain right there so that's it. Quite surprised at this actually. It was easier than I thought. And it really, it really fits snugly. I love it. So guys, I think I will end this video here, but of course I will upload the part two in a couple of weeks. Regardless, I hope you find this video interesting and if you did, give the video a like as that really helps me out. Please also consider subscribing to my channel to get notified when the next upload is available. So with that, I wish you all the best and until next time, stay safe, take care guys, bye bye, ciao ciao.